In our previous videos, we provided a detailed explanation of Nippon Sansa Holdings' company profile and its industrial gas business. So, how exactly are oxygen, nitrogen, argon, and other industrial gases, often referred to as air separation gases, produced? This video explains the production process of industrial gases at the Chiba Sanso Center, one of our group's manufacturing centers. The Chiba Sanso Center utilizes large air separation units located at the Goi coast of Ichihara City and the Kita Soda area of Sodegaura City to produce oxygen and nitrogen gases. The pipeline, spanning 60 kilometers in total length, supplies approximately 30 plants in the Keio Coastal Industrial Complex. By operating two plants, we ensure a continuous and reliable supply of gases even if one plant experiences downtime, thus reducing operational risks. For instance, oxygen plays a crucial role in the production of vinyl chloride monomer, used in various items such as plastic bags and packaging materials. Similarly, nitrogen serves as a sealing and blanketing gas in chemical plants, preventing hazardous reactions when materials encounter oxygen in the air. These are just a few examples of how our gases are utilized. The Chiba Sanso Center provides a constant and reliable supply of gases. Now, let's take a closer look at our reliable supply process. We cater to our customers' needs through three different supply methods, on-site, bulk, and packaged. At Chiba Sanso Center, oxygen and nitrogen are supplied on-site through pipelines to customers with high gas volume requirements. On the other hand, argon is liquefied and transported in bulk via tanker trucks to customers with medium gas consumption. Supply methods vary across plants, with some providing liquefied oxygen and nitrogen in bulk or delivering them in smaller cylinder packages to customers with lower gas volume needs. The Nippon Sanso Holdings Group operates global industrial gas production facilities, supplying industrial gases to various locations worldwide. How exactly are these industrial gases produced at these production sites? Industrial gases are separated from the air. To elaborate, it's important to understand the three primary states of matter, gas, liquid, and solid. The transition from a liquid to a gas occurs at a specific temperature called the boiling point. The table provided illustrates the boiling points of oxygen, nitrogen, and argon, highlighting the various temperatures at which each component transitions from a liquid to a gas state. The process of separating air gases based on the differences in their boiling points, specifically oxygen, nitrogen, and argon, is commonly referred to as cryogenic distillation. Let's dive into the process of cryogenic distillation. This production process can be broken down into three distinct stages. Impurity removal, cryogenic distillation, and argon purification. To begin, let's outline the pretreatment process before air separation. Initially, air is drawn in from the atmosphere and any dust in the raw air is filtered out. Subsequently, the feed air undergoes compression using an air compressor. As a result of compression, the air's temperature rises, after which it is cooled to approximately 9 degrees Celsius in a water cooling column. Following this, the MS adsorber eliminates water and carbon dioxide, which solidify when cooled completing the impurity removal process. Now, let's shift our focus to the cryogenic distillation process. The purified air is directed into the cold box of the air separation unit. Within this cold box, the air is cooled to around minus 170 degrees Celsius through heat exchange with low temperature oxygen and nitrogen gases in the main heat exchanger. The cooled feed air enters the lower column where distillation concentrates nitrogen. Liquid air with a high oxygen content is then transferred from the bottom of the lower column to the upper column 
where further distillation separates nitrogen and oxygen. To maintain a consistent low temperature inside the cold box, the nitrogen gas from the lower column undergoes further cooling via an expansion turbine before being supplied to the main heat exchanger. Finally, after reaching near ambient temperature in the main heat exchanger, oxygen and nitrogen gases are pressurized by oxygen and nitrogen compressors respectively, and then delivered to customers via pipeline. So, how exactly is argon separated? As previously mentioned, oxygen and argon present a challenge in separation due to their close boiling points, differing only by about 3 degrees Celsius. Let's analyze the argon purification process. Argon is concentrated in the middle section of the upper column. This argon-rich fluid is withdrawn from the upper column, then introduced into the crude argon column. In the column, Argon is concentrated to more than 95% by distillation. The concentrated crude argon is warmed to ambient temperature before exiting the cold box. This crude argon is compressed, and then the residual oxygen in the argon is removed in a purifier. In the purifier, residual oxygen reacts with hydrogen and turns into water. The water is subsequently removed in an argon dryer. The purified argon is returned to the cold box, and finally, a high-purity argon column further distillates the argon, removing any residual hydrogen and trace amount of nitrogen. The resulting high-purity argon is stored in liquid form and transported to customers via tanker trucks. This process effectively separates oxygen, nitrogen, and argon from the air and ensures their reliable delivery to customers. Additionally, the separation process can also be utilized to produce stable isotopes of oxygen, as well as the noble gases neon, xenon, and krypton. We'll provide more detailed information about this in our next edition. Now, you might be wondering what happens if our equipment fails due to a power outage or other issues, leading to a gas production stoppage. As emphasized earlier, Ensuring a continuous and reliable supply of gas to each of our customers within the complex is paramount. Let's walk through the equipment utilized to uphold this reliable supply. At Chiba Sanso Center, we rely on a decentralized control system known as DCS to remotely monitor and operate meters and valves. These digital controls play a crucial role in preventing errors and maintaining operational efficiency. Moreover, our remote monitoring equipment enables real-time monitoring of our customers' gas usage, allowing us to promptly adjust our operations to match supply with demand. This proactive approach contributes to reducing production costs. However, what happens if our equipment experiences disruptions like power outages? No need to worry. Chiba Sanso Center has established a robust system to ensure a continuous gas supply through backup facilities even during such events. We ensure uninterrupted electricity supply by utilizing backup generators. Additionally, we receive oxygen and nitrogen in liquid form from other plants in our supply network and store them in liquefied oxygen and nitrogen storage tanks. This strategic setup allows us to swiftly convert liquefied gas into its gaseous form during emergencies, ensuring a seamless delivery to our customers. We hope that you now have a comprehensive understanding of our gas production process and the robust systems we've implemented to guarantee a dependable and reliable supply. Our commitment to meeting our customers' needs is unwavering, and we strive to provide a reliable and accident-free supply every single day. It's worth noting that Chiba Sanso Center has operated without any supply disruptions for over half a century since its inception in 1967. Moving forward, we remain dedicated to being a trusted industrial gas professional that our customers can rely on, staying true to our mission of ensuring a reliable supply and maintaining a safety record of zero accidents.